and they're always exciting to see two-year-olds uh, around the place. Um, flavour maker, first of all. Uh, flavour maker, yeah, I think you gave the impression could be quite an early type of uh, two-year-old, sort of earlier part of the season, maybe. Yes, he's a very impressive individual. He's um, he's uh, he's a strong strong colt. Um, he's got good depth. He's a really strong shoulder. Nice sort of powerful quarter and hind legs. So he's got the make and shape of, of an early summer two-year-old. Still too early to know when that might be, but I'd be hopeful of him racing in May or June. Um, too early to say how good he is, but he has a good action and he has a good mind, and he just looks, you know, a nice solid, solid horse. He's all ahead of us, but that's what's exciting, you know. He's easy to like at this stage. And when you saw Flavor Maker at the sales, what, what attracted you to the horse? Well, a little bit as he is now. You know, we, we wanted a horse uh, for the opulence team. You know, that could be active and busy through the summer as a two-year-old. So we're looking for a more precocious model. I'm delighted to have him here in the stable. And the other two-year-old, Forever Noah. I was quite struck by a story you told. So, so that the, the horse had been pre-training before he came to Karlberg with Malcolm Bastard, who's renowned for pre-training. And apparently he likes the horse. He likes the horse, which makes me nervous because if we give a horse a uh, billing too early on in life, often all they can do is disappoint. And uh, I think Malcolm was uh, very strong on this horse's potential, which uh, George in turn passed on to me. And I said, George, oh, I'm not sure I needed to hear that. Joking aside, he is a nice horse. I can see why Malcolm liked him very much. He's very athletic. He's very easy on the eye. He's slightly a different horse um, to Flavor Maker. I think he'll take a bit more time. He's got a little bit more range. Um, he's a touch more narrow at the moment. He's, a, he's, he's not as mature at the same stage, but he is very much an athlete. And I think if we can harness that, that energy through the first half of the year and allow his body time to develop, then I think he could make up into an exciting two-year-old for the second half of the season. And Opulence had a terrific year in 2022 as well, as your stable having a good year. So um, Opulence has set the bar that much higher as well. But uh, are, you, are you hopeful that uh, there can be a, a really nice set of returns for, for this coming season? I think so, yeah. I think absolutely, um, you know, we have to be hopeful and, and Opulence deserve to be hopeful. They had a great year last year and they've got some good they've got some good horses around of course you know we always need the horses to stay sound and stay healthy and and, and not have those uh, setbacks which can affect a season but i think if we can keep uh, their horses you know sound and healthy there's potential to win some really nice races and you know hopefully you know for, for opulence they can you know, they can dream of bigger and better things